It is the one and only Michael Buffer. He remains as popular today as ever, Carl Thompson. And a perfect start to what should be a brilliant evening of entertainment in Sheffield. 41 years old, he seemed absolutely ageless, Carl Thompson. The IBO Cruiserweight Champion. A title not on the line tonight. But pride certainly is, and the chance to put on a show. And Thompson in the multicoloured trunks against Frenchman Frederic Surratt, who's been around a bit. A modest record, a sledgehammer punch. And it looks like a little bit of excess weight, too. Thompson wielding a big ride over the top with a almost lazy jab early on as he fills his way into this. That was a good stiff shot there, Thompson. 
Doesn't always start fights too well. Has had two epic battles in recent times against Sebastian Rothman and David Hay, where he struggled for long periods and then came back with extraordinary KO performances. And he is ranked among many British fans as one of the best entertainers in the modern game. But he does like to trade it up and took one there from Serrat, but that's better work. Nice combination rattling the head of the Frenchman. Happy at the moment to work off of the back foot, Thompson. Just sticking that jab in there and trying to work out Frederick Serrat. He's got a huge right hand if he's allowed to unload it, but he's getting caught on quite a few occasions. That jab's starting to work a lot better for Thompson now, looking a lot sharper and more purpose. Those wielding hands of Surratt, but Thompson dodging them with ease. That was a good right hook as well. That just caught Frederick Surratt on the side nicely. Takes one to the body there as well, Surratt, and the defence is being hung a little bit low. Looks a dishevelled figure of a man already, and we're only two minutes into this one, and Thompson just stumbles there. And caught a stiff jab in the face as well. Always the worry with Carl Thompson, and he does tend to take too many. And some wonder how long he can keep this title. He's stretching things at 41, but already here is showing enough that this could be a seesaw encounter. Surratt's power is keeping him right in this. A couple of occasions when he's caught Thompson. He's just had the Brit rocking. And Thompson's got to figure out this power. And this is better. Nice uppercut and a great left to the body. There'll be plenty of that later tonight with Hatton and his brother to come. A good opening round for Thompson, but... Food for thought in the opening three minutes. Thompson's corner working hard. Maurice core there, giving the instruction. And here's some of the best action from that first round. A good right hook to the body there from Thompson. And it seems to be the body shots which he's looking to utilise well. But there's an example of Surratt just coming round. Big wielding punches. Move the head. And sharpen the work. The clear message there from Morris Court. But they'll know in his corner. He is a traditionally slow starter. And he's given up a couple of tidy shots to Surratt. But you never know if Thompson's just trying to lure his opponent into a full sense of security. He seemed to do it against David Hay. There's a nice right uppercut in there from Thompson that just seemed to snap the head of Surratt back and Surratt just backing Thompson up now and trying to unload that power it was a big right to the body and it looked low and both fighters acknowledged it no need for a warning on that occasion but Thompson's got to watch it he's just let Surratt get in and he's ducked down and allowed the Frenchman to fire off some hefty looking shots a former French cruiserweight champion he's enjoyed some success domestically although against the bigger world names he hasn't Rudiger May was the last big name to put him on the deck but he's making a decent fist of this in round two and has looked every bit as at home as Carl Thompson has I think instead of upping the work rate, may have just slapped it. And that head's hanging low. 
Good right hook there. Two in succession. The second just seemed to graze the glove, though. I think he's willing to just try and let Surratt in. And if he's concentrating on going to the body, Thompson can take his head off. Surratt's starting to build a bit of confidence, though. He's trying to unload that big overarm right. And Thompson just got tagged there, left of the body as well. And none of those shots seem to do much damage from Thompson. It's a couple of weary shots there. But now he's starting to up it a bit in the last 30 seconds of round two. Carl, Stop Carl Thompson start to put something together. A little bit of redness on the face of Surratt. But that won't concern him too much. I think he'll be full of himself. It's been two rounds where he's held his own. Great right to the body there from Thompson. And Surratt just shrugs it off. And we could be in for a real battle of attrition here. This is going to be tight. Nicholas Riffard and Philippe Fondue in Surratt's corner. He's actually had the same corner men through just about the duration of his career. He's a loyal man from Graz in France. And with 23 wins from 27, he's a test for Carl Thompson. There's a shot of Stuart Pearce, the Manchester City manager from English Premier League club. The team that Ricky Hatton supports. Here we go then, round three. And two very even rounds thus far. And there'd be every argument to say it's one apiece. And if anyone thought that Carl Thompson was going to have a simple ride tonight, think again. And this Frenchman at 28. He's putting up a real fight and perhaps the age difference May catch up on Thompson tonight. He's defied father time to this point in his career. The decent hooks from Surratt there on the ropes. And he's just backed Thompson up a couple of times and a few worrying signs for the cat. He's trying to stick the jab to the body now, Surratt, who's just starting to build on repertoire of punches and the confidence starts to grow. And again there, Thompson just looked a bit rattled. The defence came down and the head was bobbing around. Oh, well, that was a good right up a cup though from Thompson. Just we addressed the balance somewhat. And a stiff left to the ribs of Surratt. But the Frenchman comes back with everything that he's got. It's shot for shot. Thompson just trying to work the angle for that uppercut. Is that the weapon of choice tonight? And they feel the Frenchman's head there just hanging in, is asking to be taken. He's certainly got plenty of padding around the rib area, so how much the body shots will be doing damage is open to question. That was again the right uppercut. Nice shot from Thompson. And that just forced the Frenchman to rethink coming in. Moved out of the way of that. Right hook well, Surratt. And Morris Cole there just looking on a little bit concerned at his man. Not quite moving with the freedom that his trainer would like at the moment. And Surratt 
won't want him to. He'll want it toe to toe and just hope his power can overwhelm Thompson. And at the moment, it just seems to be doing it. And once again, we find ourselves watching Carl Thompson on the back foot, taking shots and needing to produce something to come back into this fight. That's all we're going to do. We're going to brace this guy. Don't let this guy box his own fight, all right? Take him to your fight now, all right? I know sometimes... Well, the warning from Maurice Kaur is not to let Surat box his own fight, but that's what he's doing at the moment. And this action shows it. He's been allowed to wield those sledgehammer punches. All right. Let's work on this job as well. I've not seen it, OK? All right. Just work on fast hands and it'll all open up then, right. yeah? Good. Good lad. Don't let this guy keep pulling you back in the ring, okay? All right. Ten seconds, Carlos. Three tricky rounds for Carl Thompson. And the warnings have come from his corner. The hands have got to be quicker. He's got to start to dictate the pace in his favour. Can he start to do that in round four? But again, he's on the back foot, and that's not the fight that Carl Thompson will want to be drawn into. And this Frenchman seems to have come here with a real game plan. A the shots unanswered there from Thompson, just needs to start to be a bit more consistent. Is he hitting the target enough to Worry Frederick Surratt. And for a man who made his pro debut back in 1988, he's been there and done it. Fought 39 times, 33 victories. But tonight is so far proving a really tricky contest. And this is just how Surratt will want it with Thompson backed up. Got to just start moving around a bit more, Thompson. That was a nice right uppercut again. That's connecting well. Needs to keep it going. And here, Surratt has just started to pile on the pressure again. More shots unanswered. That huge right came through and a good combination there. How much did that take out of Thompson? He seems so adamant to try and open the angle for that uppercut. But he's getting caught every time. Really impressive so far from Frederick Surratt. There weren't too many ringside who knew too much about this man. But he's shown this British audience what he's made of. And perhaps... Uh, title shot isn't beyond him they said he was washed up in Germany after he lost to Rudiger May that was a desperate performance but this has been much much better and Thompson at the moment is just struggling to assert any kind of pressure jab's not really working for him the uppercut is coming through sporadically and the body shots don't seem to be doing much damage but can Surat land one clean? You feel that's what he's going to need to do to end it. Last few seconds of the round. Can Thompson end it with a flurry? Good left hook there. But again, the defense of Surat was quickly up. Another difficult round for Carl Thompson. Four down. All right, three. Not too much difference in the success rate. But this is Frederick Surratt on the front foot. Defences are looking really solid. Most of those shots from Thompson against the glove. The 
head moving out of the way well as well there was the instance of Thompson going in with that right uppercut but then getting tagged on two occasions having put it in and you don't need to be a mathematician to work out how the judges will score that Round five then, and Carl Thompson has had a very, very difficult four rounds so far. No stranger to this Sheffield arena. He enjoyed the biggest night of his career here back in 1998 when he stopped Chris Eubank on a never-to-be-forgotten night. But that was seven years ago. And is the age concern just catching up on Carl Thompson and again seems adamant to try and work that up a cut and he's got backed into the ropes again and Surratt has fired off some really good shots when he's done that big right hook there from the Frenchman it's a little one-dimensional at the moment from Carl Thompson needs to start mixing it up needs a variation at the moment, Surratt will be enjoying this. He's not having to move. He can just pick his punches and plant his feet. And the way Thompson's leaning in will be a worry at the midway point. He won't want to fall around behind. That was better. Good straight right worked in behind her. So far, been flimsy jab. Surratt trying to go to the body now. Trying perhaps to soften Thompson up. He's not done too much moving, but shots like that will stop him in his tracks. Get a big right hook from Surratt. Defended a couple of straight rights well. Thompson not really catching anything too cleanly. Much of the better work coming from Frederick Surratt. And the majority of this round has been fought in that corner. And Thompson injects some pace now. The final 30 seconds of round five. And he needs a flurry. Is a big right to the side of the head there. Now can he start to put together some kind of combination? He's just not been able to put two or three punches together tonight. You've got to hand it to the tactics of the Frenchman for that, but you've also got to wonder how much that Carl Thompson hasn't got left in the tank. And this has so far been a night of real concern for Carl Thompson. And that could be Surratt's round again. Well, Thompson may be having his troubles in the ring. Can this man give Ricky Hatton trouble tonight? Carlos Melsa, these are live pictures from the Colombian's dressing room. And he looks ready for action, doesn't he? A huge gangly man, a wild puncher. He doesn't know what he's going to do. How can Hatton have any idea what he's going to do? And there's some colourful attire in there too. And Mouse has been talking a lot this week. He's wound Ricky Hatton up. He was on British TV this morning suggesting that Mouser may have made his own bed. He's kept talking. He's kept making changes to the preparations. Uh, change of gloves only this morning from Ricky Hatton's usual but that's to come later back to Carl Thompson against Frederick Surratt round six of an intriguing cruiserweight contest thus far Thompson much fancied to come out comfortable victor tonight but I've got Surratt around ahead at the moment and Thompson again backed up into that corner and the fight following a 
been that it's had from about the second round. Surratt dictating the pace. And he is a durable fighter. He's only ever been stopped once. That was five and a half years ago against Gary Campbell. So he can mix it up. He's got good stamina. And so far he's taken everything that Thompson's thrown at him. Morris Core again up on the apron, looking a little concerned. They're claiming another low blow there from Surratt, but it, that one's debatable. I think that caught well. There was no complaint from Thompson, and that's always a decent gauge of things. A couple of wielding shots again there from Surratt. A kind of punching style I think we'll see plenty of from Carl's Mouser later on. It's a huge swing. There's plenty of elbow coming out. The left hook there from Thompson though, that was a bit better now. The cat's starting to move a bit more as well, this is more like it. It's taken him deep into the sixth round, it seems to get going. But that's Carl Thompson. And did we really think it would be anything else? Slow, even lethargic, and again there, the, just drop the defences in corner. Stiff right up a cut himself. It's been a punch. He's been dishing out tonight with regularity. And certainly the power of Surratt is swinging this fight in the Frenchman's favour. And it's Thompson wobbling on the back foot again. Big left hook there, and that was a, another great shot to follow it up. And Surratt is moving his upper body while he's avoiding the punches and slipping in his own this has been another impressive round and what has connected from Thompson he's taken well and whatever else he's thrown he's missed along the way and another difficult difficult round for Carl Thompson he is in a bit of danger here Thompson needs to start putting a flurry of punches together has hardly reeled off any kind of consistent combination and Morris Cole will be drilling into his man he's got to dictate the pace that's got to be the way forward for Thompson it surely the only way he can stop Frederick Surratt his power really has overwhelmed Thompson to this point really needs to get that jab going Carl Thompson so important and he's almost switch hit at times tonight it's not been his style he did it on a few occasions against Sebastian Rothman where he used his left and for a southpaw to jab with the left it usually means a bit of distress it worked on that night and he's not really Used the right to jab at all tonight. Really has been curious at times from Carl Thompson. Curiosity killed the cat. Will it kill him tonight? He's got to step it up. Morris Court has been frantically issuing instructions almost from the second round. Needs some movement back. Needs to work Surratt around the ring. He won't like that. Hardly looks like a man who's done too much road work for Eric Surratt. But he may not need to. That did look a bit low. I don't think Morris Corr saw that. The official certainly didn't. 
Sarap just trying to assert that power again. He's the one taking it to Thompson. Are we going to get an explosive opening at some point from Carl Thompson? Looking for that right uppercut, that connected well. Now has that just put this fight back in Thompson's court? This is better, can he work now? On that shot that got through, needs to follow it up. Again, that huge right uppercut just missed. But he's starting to strike now. Quite a few occasions, Surratt's left the head open. He's starting to get tagged on. One too many occasions, you feel. Is he starting to soften? A little bit more animation in this capacity crowd, and certainly from Thompson's corner. But he needs to stay on it now. Just ducking in, Thompson, just trying to keep it at arm's length. And no. He's just been allowed to get backed up and Surratt gets on top again. Good straight right from Thompson. Left hook didn't seem to do too much damage, but as Tommy's really used a jab, he just looked to be rocking there. Surratt got through with the right, but Thompson came back and both traded up there. Really good round. And that's probably going to be scored even. Both at their moments. But has Carl Thompson shown that he's coming back into this one? Just work on that now. Tap, bang, tap, bang. Whether it's left dogs or right hands, just tap and bang. Get it to go now, Carl. Feel all right? Well, this was a lot better from Carl Thompson. He has tried to work in that right hook all night but that time it really did take the sting out of Frederick Surratt just missed with that one but there was the moment a worrying moment for Thompson where he just got caught with that right hook well, this fight has almost encapsulated Thompson's whole career. It's been up and down. There have been moments of greatness, moments of madness. But that seventh round has just got Thompson back into it. But he is still on the back foot, and that's worrying. Needs this round, you feel. And that was better. Good right hook there. Needs to... Start using the jab though, tap and bang with the messages coming from Thompson's corner. And will he adhere to that advice this time? Surratt tries to go to the body but just left himself open again there for that right uppercut which missed by a whisker. The left hook as well, followed it in with the right. This is better from Thompson now, he's starting to moving behind a decent punch times was just sitting back and admiring in his own work if he caught Surratt now starting to stay on it and the Frenchman there just seemed to take the wind out of Thompson the head goes down again the power of Surratt so difficult to contend with one punch can do as much damage as three or four of Thompson's But Thompson's got power of his own. We haven't seen it as yet. A couple of times he's just had Surratt rocking and it's got the crowd to its feet, but it's a slightly subdued and worried atmosphere for Carl Thompson, who has built such a following wherever he goes in Britain. Hook there just seemed to graze Surratt, but it didn't take much out of him. And the Frenchman's holding up well. He is difficult to budge. And it looks like that's going to be the story tonight. 
but can Thompson produce something out of the ordinary? He's made a habit out of it in his career. That was better. A couple of shots there. Just missed, though. The right uppercut again he was looking for. It was a hook which flew just over the head of Surratt, who ducked it well. Just seems to be seeing everything early enough. And his pace hasn't really slowed. And that was a big right hook that caught Thompson. Who now just seems to be getting a bit desperate. Knows he needs to start connecting. And he's left himself open. And Surratt may just have snuck that round and it's getting really interesting well Carl Thompson put together some decent flurries of action in that round, a big right hook to Surratt's body, which seemed to take some of the weight of him, but Surratt's wielding sledgehammer-like punches may have taken the round. Maybe telling Carl Thompson that Surratt's begging to be hit, but the fact of the matter is he hasn't been with any real meaningful forces yet. And Frederick Surratt, who just seemed to be going nowhere with his career with a majority decision defeat to Giacomi Fragamoni. That was a challenge for the WBC international title, and it just seemed to be slipping away from him and he took this opportunity of coming to Britain to fight Thompson as a chance to put his name back in the shop window in a division which is crying out for someone to dominate it and Carl Thompson now maybe on the back foot but he's fighting Beto off of it now just leaning on the ropes and bouncing back with some passion and a bit more determination this is better from Thompson, he put everything into that right hook. Really is throwing his weight into these punches now. And he barely has to. It's going to be very, very tight on the cards. So Thompson may need these final two rounds. Just trying to tease Surratt up for that right hook. Feels that the left side of the face is open. His corner felt that the left hook was there for the taking is he just grabbing at the side of the face there Thompson is he in a bit of distress it's been a very uncomfortable night for him this one could still swing either way despite the power of Surratt how much juice is left in the tank that looks an ominous sign as he just leans on Thompson's shoulder and just tries to get some breath into the lungs it's a but atmosphere in this Alam FM arena there isn't too much air around if he's just sucking it in it may give Thompson an edge he's looked to lean in the shoulder there Thompson and the left eye of Surratt just looks a little uncomfortable now a couple of those right hooks maybe have done a bit of damage tries again for the uppercut and the left there seemed to connect the left hook which Morris Gore was adamant that he should throw. Well, this is better. Decent combination of shots there. Just tagged Surratt as he stepped forward into Thompson's range. So far, so good in round nine. Thompson looks as though he's taken one back. And it's going to go to a decisive ten. And it's still anyone's fight, this. Go for this boy, yeah. and you gotta throw your shots, alright? Nice Hang on, man. Okay. Go, 
Right, Take another drink here. This will be cut. Your time. Don't save this out for the change room, okay? Yeah, yeah. All right, Don't let's take you out here. here. Let's go. Oh, come on, let's show everybody now that you're fresh again. Your time, cut. Come the on last now. One, all right? Let's get this one out of the way. You're listening. You're listening. The last one. Let's go for it, okay? Did those look like ominous signs in Thompson's corner? Is that a man? resigned to possible defeat I've never seen Carl Thompson looking quite as despondent as that in his corner but this fight is still so tight it only needs a strong finish in this 10th round and Thompson goes home the winner tonight but he just seemed a little bit lethargic in that corner he head was down seemed a bit disinterested Let's hope for Carl Thompson's sake that it was just mere focus and thinking this round through. That right hook got through there. And at the moment, that left eye of Surratt is just becoming a little bit puffier and it's a target for Thompson to aim at. There seem to be some frantic work in Surratt's corner, dabbing away at the lower eyelid so I'm not sure if he's perhaps caught the side of a glove in there and having some distress but Thompson is giving him a bit more distress now it's a good shot to the body but he couldn't work in behind it it's been the story of Thompson's night he's just not been able to be consistent enough and Surratt now tries to use his power so much of this fight has been confined to that corner Thompson back on the front foot now though needs to start to put the pressure on and these are a critical 80 seconds for Carl Thompson what will defeat do for him here he has an IBO title defense lined up for the new year against an as yet unnamed opponent if it had been tonight well who knows what would have happened and is the Lack of focus, maybe, from that title not being on the line affected Thompson. It's been an uneasy display. And this is a big final few stages of this round. It was a better jab from Thompson, who seems to have gone a bit more orthodox to the latter stages. But they're lethargic punches. And are they going to do enough, Surratt? He's coming back with some of his own. Is the Frenchman going to finish the fight the stronger? Big left hook there. Which Thompson just seemed to dab away at. And the way he's leaning in, he's a little concerned, Thompson. And it looks as though Surratt is going to get the distance. And has the Frenchman done enough? He shielded it up and for a canny round and he might just have this but it's Carl Thompson's arm that's raised and Carl Thompson may just have snuck it well that could have gone either way and it looked as though Frederick Surratt had done enough to get it but Carl Thompson may just have pulled it out of the fire here and we await the official announcement from Michael Buffer. But that was not the best of Carl Thompson, not by a long way. It was a traditionally slow start. Never really got to grips with the power of Surratt and the unorthodox nature of his punches. And here is a look back at the best of it. Round one, Thompson was slow in the exchanges the third it was Surratt that started to get on top continued that work through the rounds the six started to pile on the pressure Thompson there with that right uppercut which was really his best chance of defeating Surratt but he was never able to connect on a regular basis and the power of Surratt seen here right through to the final round look to have been enough for the Frenchman but it was Thompson's arm raised and has the Brit snuck it
Ladies and gentlemen, the official scoring from your referee, Phil Edwards, 98-93 to Carl the Cat Thompson. Well, there you go.